<laughs> I'm sorry. But, um, what's up, guys? This is Mike. Be the fam, that's what they call me. Promise that you never be lonely. Be the fam, that's what they call me. What's up, guys? TFAC Zach here with my mother Lori. We are here at the Sunset Flea Market where I live, where, where we live. Um, show you guys around, see what's interesting. If I see something, I'll pick it up and show you guys. We are here to see my Uncle Mike, which he sells, uh, what? Only chicken strips. He makes them, dehydrates them, and packs them, and sends them up. The funny thing is, I was gonna ask you, I was gonna ask you what does he do, so they know. But, um, <clears throat> what, what actually does he do? He just sends them off? Like, what, what, what's the process to it? Well, he's just getting into it, and he, um, uh, sells them, you know, like, to the campgrounds, and, well, uh, the a campground. <clears throat> he does vending shows and stuff. If you guys want to check him out, I'll put his, uh, the Facebook, uh, page down below. You can check that out, and... Order some. Come on. What's a better way than putting 100% chicken into your dog's stomach and making them healthy? And they're very good. It's $7 a bag. It's a one pound bag. And then it's 14 for two, right? 14 for but two. seven for each. Um, so I'll put the link down, that link down in the description below so you guys know and you guys can order. And you can ship too. I don't know what his shipping fee is when he does it, starts it up, but he's been doing this for how long? A couple months. A couple he months. Good business. Yeah, like he, I can vouch for that. Uh, he does really good with his food. Uh, well, his, his food. food. <laughs> his, chicken strips. his chicken strips for the dog. Um, for his dogs, because he started out doing uh, that with his dogs, right? And I thought, what the heck? Hey, I can do this for other dogs. So. And now he has his own business. So it's Mike's chicken strips. I'll put like I said, I'll put the link down in the description below. But let's get to the sunset flea market and show you guys something interesting and things that we do here. And there's people there because it's so there is. Good. Yeah. Cause it's gloomy out today and it might rain, so let's get to it. Come on, Devin. I was really gonna buy one of these knives. Veteran for Trump. <laughs> oh my god, look, it's the donkey. Playing cards. They're cheap. Devin, what do you think of this flag? What do you think of it? I don't know. You're not giving me what I want. <laughs> I'm sorry, but um, what's up, guys? This is Mike, my uncle that owns uh, Mike Chicken Strips. Uh, as I was saying with mom in the uh, intro of this video. Uh, so tell the viewers what the process is to your uh, chicken strips, what you have to do, uh, you know, the whole thing. Okay, okay yes. Um, what I do is I take, um, I started making these chicken strips for my three dogs, and they, um, they absolutely love them. So then I started making them for friends at work, then their friends. And they're friends and now it's into a business so what I do is I take a boneless skinless chicken breast um, no antibiotics no nothing it's an all-natural breast and uh, I slice them down and then I dehydrate them and they come out beautiful and they taste wonderful to your your dogs will love them mm -hmm. And it's USDA, USDA approved too, right? Yes, USDA select chicken breast. 
I don't put anything on the chicken breast. I just dehydrate them straight so it's an all natural treat. So what is the dehydrator? Like what, what is like, you know? Well, what that does with the dehydrator is what it does is it, uh, it dries out the chicken. It takes all the moisture out of the chicken and it becomes like a, a jerky type thing. And humans can eat them too. Yes, you can, you can actually eat them if you want. I had a couple of good. Um, I mean, it's all natural chicken, so I mean, you can eat them if you want. There's no doubt about that. Because it's 100% chicken. Yes. So you could buy a bag for yourself, you could buy a bag for your dog and give them a healthy treat, basically. Yeah, absolutely. As well as you being healthy. Yes. They are good. Um, I mean, I we took all our treats, all the other treats away from our dogs, and we just give them the... We give them milk bone and uh, chicken strips, and that's all they get anymore. Because all the other stuff has all that chemical stuff in it and whatnot, and so I like to take care of my dogs the best I can, and this is the way I do it. And I think all dogs should be eating my chicken strips. Because it's all natural, no artificial flavor, nothing. That's right. No artificial flavors, nothing added to it, no additives, no nothing. Just this chicken strip, that's it. Yeah, and you slice them like into like a very thin... Yeah, it's maybe a quarter inch or so, I, I slice them thin, and then uh, they dehydrate. That's very... I guess one batch takes about 12 hours to do, so... And how much, is like, with the batch, how much, like, how many slices can you is a batch that you do? Well, a batch is maybe two pounds. Oh, well. And then you just throw them into the, these containers that he has back here and sell them. Yep, that's it. Wow. And of course, I, I got my own bag, my own label, everything for it. Do you, so. have, do you have a bag here? Yeah. Actually, give there is some, a bag back there. Give us a minute. Give us a minute. Also, I also have these chicken strips. I have them in uh, some stores and uh, some campgrounds. And do you do you make decent amount of profit off of the campgrounds and some stores? I make enough. I mean, I don't make a ton of money off of it, but I don't charge labor to do it. That's why I, I sell them for seven dollars a pound. Where in a store you're going to pay about twelve dollars a pound. So there's a big difference in that price. But I don't charge for labor, so. That's how I keep my price down. Keep it cheap. Yeah. I mean, that way everybody can afford them. Yeah. You know. Uh, and a pound, a pound of chicken strips, this, the bag that I have here, this bag is absolutely stuffed. All the way to the top, literally. All the way to the top, and it's just a huge, it's like a big pillow. Yeah, it's like about up to here, I think. Like, maybe like an inch or two. Yeah, you, there, you can get... You get a lot for one pound. That is, and obviously, and it says this whole story back here with uh, the ingredients, basically. Like you said, 100% USDA uh, inspected chicken breast, glycerin oil, food grade. And it's obviously made in the USA, because he makes them. Let me see if I can get that up there so they can actually read. It's really going backwards, too. Yep, yeah, basically the whole story, here bring over here, the whole story saying all this and then the ingredients and that's basically what it is. And there's the front of the bag. Yep, tail waggers, chicken strips. And that's system. it. Yeah. So give me a call. His, uh, the phone number is 717-679-7568. So if, if you guys want any food uh, for yourself, you could, like, like we said, be a, it, it's for humans too, because it's 100% chicken. Or if you want to give your dog a healthy treat, you just give him a call. I'll, like I said, I'll put the, the, uh, the uh, page in the description, go like it, and it'll tell you the whole, the whole story about how this happened, how he made this uh, business as a profitable, uh, thing to like invest in basically yeah. I mean we're I'm not gonna get rich doing it but I'm my thing is I'm making dogs happy and he cares a lot about other people's dogs as well as you know like pets in general 
Like maybe one time you could probably do uh, cat food or chinchilla food or whatever. I, I do know that there are some cats that eat this stuff. Oh wow. So you could probably give it to your cat too. Yeah, there's customers that have cats and they actually give them to their cats too. Wow. You know. And also I had um, I had somebody that was, they had their dog was allergic to chicken. They would break out and uh, they started giving them these treats and they don't break out on a dehydrated chicken piece of it. They don't break out on a piece of dehydrated chicken. Why, I don't know, but they're giving their dogs this chicken strip now because they were giving them turkey, but turkey is so much expensive than chicken. So now they're giving them these, these chicken strips because they don't break out on them. Wow. So I don't know what the dehydration does to it, but it does something to it that they don't and then it's like allergic don't break reaction. out. Yeah. Oh, wow. So keep that in mind. Your mm -hmm. dogs may be able to eat these even though they're allergic to chicken. They may be able to eat these dehydrated. And not just like, you yeah. Know. Yeah. I'll put the link down in the description to the Facebook page so you guys can go check that out and know more about it. My Uncle Mike does a good job with his business. He makes he makes good money. At a flea market we just got done with that was in the last couple segments. Um, he does good money there. He's what it, the one time was what two hours you sold out right? Mm -hmm. In two hours you brought how many pounds with? Today I had 18 pounds. Oh wow! And I sold them out in three hours. 18 pounds in three hours. So they definitely so they sell themselves. Put Basically. It that way. Yeah. Basically seven a pound, fourteen for two, but seven each. Yeah, when you compare it to like Walmart, pay maybe twenty one, twenty two dollars for a, I think it's an eighteen ounce bag. Oh wow. Where you can get wow. sixteen ounces for seven dollars. Yeah. That's a big difference. And this is USA chicken, it's not China. Like Walmart's is China chicken. Yeah. So, so there's a difference there. Yeah, completely made in the USA. No basically no tax. Just all all natural seven here, boom. Yeah. Here's your bag. Fourteen, here's two pounds. Basically. Mm hmm Wow, that is very interesting. That is very interesting. So give him a call. He could do shipment too if Yeah, like, I mean shipment's not an issue. Mm -hmm. Can't cost that much to send a, a one pound bag of chicken strips somewhere. Or if you wanna get a few pounds. Yeah. T try one bag, see how they like it, and if they like it, give them a call. I'm sure they will because I haven't met a dog yet that doesn't go bananas over them. I go bananas over them because they're that good. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my Uncle Mike Mike's Chicken Strips. Like I said, I'll put his link, the link down in the description. Go like the page. Spread the word. Maybe one day you'll be working for this guy very possible you heard it from him guys but I'm gonna get off of here show you guys around well I didn't film a lot at the flea market because there wasn't really anything interesting except me and my friend but and him selling his chicken strips but I'll keep you posted throughout the day on it is all right later Hey, what's up guys it has been two days since those clips have been recorded and I'm telling you it was a great time spending time with my uncle and seeing an old friend of mine I haven't seen probably in like a year so I am playing on a new video you guys get this video to a hundred and I mean a hundred smackaroo likes and I'll post it for you guys it it's gonna be insane I'm gonna tell you that right now from what I got Intel from yeah it's gonna be insane but I'm gonna tell you guys this I love you guys I do these videos for you guys you guys are supportive even though everything happens for a reason you guys are so supportive I love you guys but I want to tell you this too make sure you guys like it up smackaroo that like button Make sure it gets to 100 because I'll post that video for you guys because it's going to be freaking insane. Make sure you guys are subscribed because you don't know what happens on this channel. Make sure you press that bell notification down there. 
so you know when the next video drops. And I'm out of here, guys. I hope you enjoy your day. No, TFAC, Zach, out. Peace. Love ya.